Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC computer science MCQ questions on chapter 10 control statements. Question number one the statements that alter the sequence of flow of instructions in C. Option A control statements, B compound statement, C update statement, D alter statement. Here, the sequence of flow of instructions will be altered by control statements. Hence, Option A is the right answer. Next, question number two. Which of the following is a group of statements that are separated by semicolon and enclosed within curly braces? Option A, control statements. B, compound statement. C, update statement. D, alter statement. Whenever the statements enclosed within curly braces, then such uh, statements are called compound statement hence option B is the right answer question number three what is the numerical equivalent of true and false option a 1 and 0 B 0 and 1 C 1 and 2 D 1 and 3 here true represent bit number 1 and false represent bit number 0 so hence option A is the right answer question number four the statement allows us to select a statement or set of statements for execution based on some condition. Option A, selection statement. B, iteration statement. C, sequence statement. D, all of the above. Here, the right answer is selection statement. Now, let us move for the next question. Question number five, the statement allows us repeated execution of set of instructions certain condition is satisfied here certain statement will get executed repeatedly until certain condition is satisfied so options are a selection statement b iteration statement c sequence statement d all of the above so here option b iteration statement is the right answer so iterative statements are the statements which will get executed repeatedly until certain condition is satisfied. Question number six, which selection statement does C++ provide? Option A, if, B, nested if, C, switch, D, all of the above. So all these three are selection statements only. So hence option D, all of the above is the correct answer. Question number seven, which selection statement not C++ provide? Option A, if, B, nested if, C, switch, D, for. So here, for loop is iterative statement. It is not a selection statement. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number 8, name the one-way branch statement. Options are A, if, B, nested if, C, if else, D, switch. So one-way branch is a simple if statement. Hence, option A is the right answer. Question number 9, name the two-way branch statement option a if b nested if c if else d switch statement here option c if else is the two-way branching statement now let us move on to question number 10 which of the following is called as else if ladder option a if b else if else c if else if d if else here option c if else if is the correct answer question number 11 which of the following is if statement is within another if statement option a if b nested if c if else if d switch here if is enclosed within another if is called nested if statement hence option b is the right answer question number 12 which of the following is multiple branch selection statement option a if B nested if C if else if D switch. Here multiple selection statement is switch statement, hence D is the right answer. Question number 13 Which statement is a bit peculiar within C? Options are option A if B nested if C if else if D switch. Here switch statement is bit peculiar in C. Question number 14, what type of value can be taken by case labels? Option A, int or char, B, float or string, C, wide, D, only float. Here, 
which label will receive either integer or character type of data hence option a is the right answer question number 15 name the iteration statement provided by c++ option a while b do while c for d all of the above so here while do while and for all of these are iterative statement provided by c++ hence option d all of the above is the right answer question number 16 which of the following is not an uh, iteration statement option a while b do while c for d switch while do while and for these three are iterative statement here they have asked not an iterative statement so option d switch is not a iterative statement question number 17 what is while loop also called as option a pre-tested statement b post-tested statement c fixed execution loop d pre-statement so while loop is also called pre-tested looping statement hence option a is the right answer question number 18 what is do while loop also called as option a pre-tested statement b post-tested statement c fixed execution loop d pre-statement here do while loop statement will check the condition after executing statement at least once hence it is called post tested statement that's the reason option b is the right answer question number 19 which of the following is pre-tested looping structure option a while b do while c for d switch here pre-tested looping structure is while so that's the reason option a is the right answer Question number 20, which of the following is post-tested looping structure? Option A, while, B, do while, C, for, D, switch. Here, do while is the post-tested looping construct, hence option B is the right answer. Question number 21, which of the following is fixed execution looping structure? Option A, while, B, do while, C, for, D, switch. Here, for loop is fixed iterative statement because before executing certain set of instructions repeatedly how many times it has to be iterated if it is known by the user prior to its execution then such execution is called fixed execution looping structure question number 22 following is a jump statement option a break b exit c continue d all of the above here these three break exit and continue are all jumping statements only so hence option d all of the above is the right answer question number 23 following is not a jump statement option a break b exit c continue d for here break exit and continue are jump statements d is iterative statement that is for is iterative statement hence option d is the correct answer now let us go for question number 24 here which of the following is used to terminate a case in the switch statement option a break b exit c continue d if here each and every case label will be terminated by break so hence option a is the right answer question number 25 which of the following is used to force immediate termination of a loop statement option a break b exit C continue D if here option A break is the right answer that brings the control out of the looping construct immediately when we use a break statement. Question number 26 name the jump statement which terminates the loop. Option A break B exit C continue D if once again option A break is the right answer. Question number 27 name the jump statement which terminates the program here you can see the control comes out of the entire program not from the loop option a break b exit c continue d if so here b exit is the right answer exit is a function that forces the program to terminate or to bring the control out of the entire program question number 28 which header file must be included in the program for using the exit function option a iostream.h b ponyo.h c iomanip.h 
stdlib.h header file so here option d stdlib.h header file is to be used in order to use exit function so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next video